I'm not gonna lie, I was in a pretty bad mood earlier. A few people on the homesteading page were being really contradictory and negative, and I think they were just starting to, you know, make arguments for no reason. And saying things like, people don't need to be accountable for their actions that have to do with global climate change, like we have nothing to do with it, it's just earth swabble. Things like that, and talking about, you know, I kill my own meat and everything's great, and it was just really getting to be too much. So I decided that instead of arguing, which I tend to do, I am very outspoken by nature, sometimes I just need to let things go, I know I'm not going to change anyone's mind, and yet I continue to get into it. I thought I could really use like just some fresh air, so I thought I'm going to start a project, I'm going to make my own red wine vinegar. Uh, so I got all the supplies to do that, and then of course every fruit fly in a three mile radius decided to get in on the action because they can smell it and they want to be over here. So, anyway, no, I'm just a little bit frazzled and I'm thinking that a project will help clear my mind. So here we go. I know that I'm going to be using my Bragg's Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar with the Mother. This is the one that I trust. You can see that it's got some funky business floating around in the bottom. That's the mother. It's similar to kombucha. Um, it's like a symbiotic culture of yeast and bacteria, but it's in an apple cider vinegar instead. And I'm going to be using red wine today. I bought this giant cheapo jug of red wine, and I probably drink less than a cup of it. I'm really not a big drinker, and it just has sat there in my kitchen. So I'm going to be using it up. So if you have extra wine at home, whether it's white or red, you can make your own. I'm just going to be dumping it into this guy securing a paper towel over the top and leaving it for about two weeks and checking it. So here we go to start. I'm gonna swirl this around, try to get the mother up. I want all of that good strands of bacteria towards the top. And I'm gonna do a really relaxed ratio of one parts apple cider vinegar to two parts wine. And I'm thinking this is about three cups, so I'm gonna do just under two cups. So that's probably one, and that's probably two. And I'm going to leave a little bit of this, because I may need it before two weeks are up. And this stuff is expensive. I think I paid $7 for this bottle. So it's not terrible, and I like supporting their company, but I can't afford to be using that much of it all the time, so it's definitely going to help out to have my own going. And then I'm going to dump in my wine. One, two, three cups. I'm going to want to cover that right away because these little guys are all over the place dying to get in. So basically I just need to relax. I need to let things go, not argue with people, just let them have their opinions and hope that maybe they'll reconsider the argument that people should not take responsibility for their actions and we should change none of our, you know, consumer culture, drone, zombie, credit card, shopping, addiction. We should just, you know, steady as she goes, everything's fine. It's just hard as an intellectual and a liberal and an environmentalist to listen to people have that much apathy and denial and just take some accountability, make some better changes, you know, try biking to work, meatless Monday, maybe grow some of your own food, reduce your carbon footprint, but no, I really need to calm down now. So I got my paper towel secured as quickly as possible to keep all those fruit flies out and I'm sorry about them. It's just one of the perils of keeping food scraps in your kitchen for the compost, I guess. But um, they definitely wanted into this, so I might even put a second layer just to really keep them out. And now that I'm looking, I can see all these little mother bits floating to the surface, and it's really cool. Hopefully those will become one big glob mother. I'll definitely show you the results in a few weeks. And as for now, I'm just gonna go de-stress and unwind with some chess and soothing music and my wonderful vanilla extract rose water stevia and raspberry jam that is my soothing relaxation drink and you know i just have to let things go because life is too short and i don't need the stress so hope you're having a good day and see you later